Derek Milton worked on Beyonce's Grammy-winning film Homecoming as a behind-the-scenes camera operator in 2019. This documentary, Getting a Grammy, explores the aftermath of what it was like to work on an award-winning film. Derek had received several texts from his friends asking if they could see his Grammy. Unfortunately, only the directors and producers are the ones who actually receive an actual trophy. But Derek agrees anyway, and he has to try to source his own Grammy for a celebration party. The narrative structure of the documentary is strictly linear, and it follows Derek as the main character while he deals with the complications of planning this party. The story is simple and straightforward, with each major event serving to progress the story. Due to the story being told by Derek from his own perspective, the mode of the film very quickly identifies itself as being a participatory documentary. There are three main characteristics of a participatory documentary. The first of which is that the filmmaker is a character. Because this film is about Derek, because this film is about Derek, and we hear his voice narrating throughout the whole film, it's practically impossible for him not to be regarded as the main character. The second characteristic is that the interviewer's questions are also included within the edit. Although there are no formal interviews present within the film, there are moments where screen grabs of messages, screen grabs of message threads between Derek and his friends are also on screen along with accompanying voiceovers from those people. If we were to treat these moments of discussion between Derek and his friends as interviews, if we were to treat these moments of discussion between his friends as interviews, we would see that Derek doesn't omit his own questioning from the edit, thus meeting the second criteria. The final criteria for participatory mode is that the viewer is aligned with the filmmaker. Very much like the first criteria of the filmmaker as a character, what we as viewers experience is Derek's point of view. This point of view is based from his own personal experience and what we experience is everything that he went through and what outcomes that and what those outcomes were for the complications he has whilst encountering any opposing forces within the story. We want to see him overcome and achieve this goal, rather than hearing why Derek can't have his party. In terms of the film's style, Derek incorporates his comedic and quirky personality into what we see and hear on screen, whilst also drawing on techniques he's used in previous works. The most standout feature of the film is the lack of moving images. The film's opening news sequence and drone footage of the Hollywood signage are some of the only times where moving image was actually used as overlay. Derek's choice to overlay the rest of the film with still images can also be seen in his mini skit series called Derek and Cats, where each skit contains no moving images at all, but is rather assembled from a collection of stills. The still images play into the fact that the documentary is Derek telling a story and what those still images do is almost turn the film into a storybook. The relationship between Derek's choices of content, mode and style are elements which he is personally invested in. The film is his story and with his friends and he told it in his style. If Derek was to utilise a different mode to tell the story, it would lose some of its personality. An expository mode would not fit the story being told due to that mode being more suitable for setting up and exploring a certain argument. Participatory lets him focus heavily on his style and focus on telling an engaging story that might be harder to execute with if he used any of the other modes of documentary. The unique style brings to the film the unique style he brings to the film reinforces that the film is his own and this is his story. While it could have been told in an infinite number of ways, the final product reflects who Derek Milton is as a storyteller and a filmmaker.